Hello, and welcome back to All of Inland Adventure, where, you know, we're getting places. Where that is, I don't really particularly know, but hey. We're figuring stuff out as we go. Let's do some side quests today, though. That's what we got to do. Hello, sir. Fighting is meaningless. Heck yeah. Was I that was a heck of a performance! What? Okay, that's rude. End here. Too late to repent. That's it. I get your I've no interest in conflict. Let's rock. Is that all? Songs for you. Fight it out. Pretty good crowd today. Let's rock. Too late to repent. <laughs> this ends here. There you go.
don't even know where that's at. Where is that? Oops, wrong button. Is it over here? I, I keep getting confused. I'm confused. I'm always confused. Where actually is this? Okay, so it's somewhere... Over here. Was I seeing things? What was that? I keep. This is not good to know where the map is. God dang it. Uh-huh. That's on the other side. Okay. Oh no, wait, that's Time for the main event. Keep up! The truth of life and death, revealed in it. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Too late to repent. No interest in conflict. Right. Forget your wallet? <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! Fighting is me. Where did you come from?
that's the look. Oh, hi. On to the next one. I am on this now. Busier places mean busier business. Yes, indeed, it does. Okay, children, what do you want? now a conscript of the moles. <laughs> I, Julian of a thousand faces... Wait, it's not the time for this. We got trouble. The boss went to the great mine along with her Diggertron. And she refused to let anyone go with her. I feel like she's doing something dangerous. You have to go check on her for us. Fursman is in the mines. It seems like the boss heard some bad news about him and then just ran in there. Oh, she even took her Diggertron. Is she preparing for a fight with the vagrants? Oh, there's lots of bad guys in the mines. Miss Natasha said kids ain't allowed to go in. Go check on her for us now. He's Hook's daddy. And he's like a daddy to everyone in the moles. He's like a great person. Uh huh. Thank you. Oh. Oops, my bad. All right, wait, where is this at? Calm down, calm down. We're all here to work for a living. Why not sit down and talk it out? Save it. We treated you as our leader, but look how you treated us. Such a rat! You sold the intel about the vein to Antonia, but we discovered it first. Now we've lost the mine, and we have to work for those guys. Traitor! <laughs> well, nothing to say for yourself, huh? So you admit that you sold the intel to the mining team? Hey, you brutes! Don't bully my daddy! Oh, little hook? Oh, no, no, you have it wrong. It's your daddy who bullied us first. Ask him if you don't believe me. Daddy? Yes, I told Antonia about the vein. But I was the first one to discover it. I have the right to do anything with it. <sighs> it's only because you have that detector. Let's see who's boss when we take it from you! Back off! I was thinking about the bigger picture when I did that. Unlike you all who just look for trouble every day. Well, I think someone needs to teach you a lesson. Uh -oh. Guys, get him! You'll never lay a finger on Daddy without passion through Hook! Come and help Hook! <laughs> Another punching bag? Fine by me. I'll kick all your butts!
Yeah, that's totally what's gonna happen. This song's for you. Keep up. <laughs> that's it. This ends here. Too late to repent. Forget your walk. Daddy, are you hurt? Uh, just a few scratches. How about you, Hook? <sighs> Don't worry about me. I have Jiggertron. No one can hurt me. Good. <laughs> That's good. Uh, and you, young man, are you hurt? Uh, thank you for your help. Quit acting tough, young man. Your injuries must be treated right away. Uh, I remember. You are the outsiders Natasha mentioned before, right? I heard that you helped resolve some conflicts around the mines when you arrived. And again today, <laughs> when you saved my life. What a noble young spirit you have. Thank you very much. Daddy, let's go to the old witch's clinic. You're seriously hurt. But the vein detector that Rapscallion was after... Somebody already stole it from me. I need to keep searching. Otherwise, I might never see it again. It's just a tool. I guess I should let it go. Let's head to the clinic. Off we go. I accidentally used all of those spheres. <laughs> busier places mean busier business. Oh well. The controls in this game, I need to get used to it. <sighs> I've taken care of your wounds. I'm running short on medical supplies these days, though, so behave yourselves and stay away from trouble. You hear me? Don't pretend you didn't hear that, Hook. I'm talking to you. Hook wasn't the one that caused trouble. It was those bad guys. We were just defending ourselves. Ask him! See? You are gonna spoil that kid. <sighs> That's enough for now. I'll say this one last time, Hook. If you cause any trouble again, I'll take Diggertron away. Do you understand? Mm, Hook understands. The boss of the moles should stick to her word. <laughs> I have patience to take care of. See you later. Thank you again. I if it weren't for you and Dr. Natasha, Hook and I probably would have been in big trouble. Well, a few days ago, I found a Geomarrow vein using a vein detector, and I sold this info to Antonia, a, a supervisor of the mining team. Then, those vagrants heard about it and accused me of being a traitor. They believe that since I'm also a vagrant who came from another mine and ended up in here for a living, I should naturally be on their side. The mining team could not agree with that, of course. <sighs> I'm just too old for this. Daddy? Are we short on money? Why did you do that? My poor child. Daddy is old now. <clears throat> Who knows how long I can stay by your side. I have to start preparing for your future. People say I'm selfish. Think I'm a traitor, but it doesn't matter to me. All you need to know is when I'm gone, you will have the money to take care of yourself and survive on your own. Daddy... Forget about it. Since I've got the money from the mining team, I have nothing to complain about now. 
It's just a shame that I lost my vein detector. It was indeed a treasure. I guess so. It's an ancient relic that can detect geomarrow veins. It's very rare. I haven't seen a second one in my life. I often carried it around looking for a new claim. I suppose some villains must have taken notice. Well, anyway, I guess I don't need the detector anymore. The less trouble, the better. I shouldn't care who stole my device. <laughs> Whoever it was, I hope they get good use out of it. Hook seems to be giving me a look like... I want to talk to you outside the clinic now. Uh -huh. So that's why people call eyes the windows to the soul. Okay. Wait! Hook needs you to help with something. Okay. Yes! We can't just stand by and do nothing! That detector is Daddy's treasure, so I gotta get it back! You'll help me, won't you? Alright then. I'll be waiting for you at the shelter in the mine, big brother. Uh, I mean... Uh, hey, okay. See ya! Sure, I don't mind being big brother. Okay. Back down we go. <laughs> I need to make lunch soon. I'm hungry. Too slow, honorary member of the moles. <laughs> you should have gotten here before a hook. Let me introduce you to Sweta. She is Daddy's most trusted Sweta. miner. Oh, not at all. Mr. Fursman trusts every vagrant, and every one of us trusts Mr. Fursman. But after what happened over at that Geomero vein, the atmosphere at the shelter became a bit tense. I'm here to find Daddy's treasure, his vein detector. I heard that someone stole it. Is that true? Well, I would guess that's probably true. After the conflict in the mine, Wildfire gathered everyone out of the shelter and took a head count to check on the wounded. Four people were not there. When we returned to the shelter, Mr. Fursman's detector was gone. We searched all around the shelter, but found nothing. I guess one of those four people was the thief. Yes. The shelter was usually crowded, so thieves would have had a hard time stealing things when everyone was around. We vagrants have our dignity, too. I'm sure we will catch the thief, but... But... what? Actually, we've already asked those four suspects about it. But they all claim to not have stolen anything. Of course, we could never expect thieves to confess and turn themselves in, right? In my opinion, one of those four was lying. Doesn't seem likely. All four suspects are at the shelter. If you're feeling confident, why not give it a try? Maybe you can determine who the thief is. Uh, adults are so dishonest. Hook's gonna question them one by one. <coughs> Did you steal Daddy's detector? Nope. I'm no thief. Really? Then you better answer our questions honestly. Ask away. Let's not waste time. Okay. Mm, spacing out. <laughs> Didn't notice anything. Good man. But a bit of a cheapskate. Oh. Nope. What detector? Hey, would you mind talking more nicely? 
What? I always talk like this. I don't feel like she's the thief. She certainly feels like something. I know! Hmm? Look, what's the matter? Did you steal Daddy's detector? What? Oh, if I'd known I would become a suspect, I wouldn't have gone out at that time. How foolish of me. We just need you to answer a few questions. Okay. Ask away. It would be good to clear myself of suspicion. Nothing special. I just went out to get some fresh air. Oh dear, oh dear. I know that's a lame alibi, but I swear it's the truth. Mr. Firstman? He's a good person. Though... Oh, it... Uh, never mind. Uh -huh. oh, no, oh no. I must sound very suspicious, but I really didn't do anything. You have to believe me. Uh-huh. Detector? No, I haven't seen anything, and I don't know anything. Uh, Is that all the questions you have? Have I proven my innocence? You feel a little suspicious, but that's okay. Uh, oh dear. All this waiting around is enough to make me even more anxious. Well, if you were innocent, I saw Anthony. Did you steal Daddy's detector? What? How could you say that? You're gonna make me angry. <gasps> Am I? Good. You know what a businessman values the most? Reputation. If your slander ruins my reputation and harms my business, you'll pay for that. Oh my god. Really? Uh, well, then answer our questions. We'll decide if we believe you or not. I have the right to remain silent. Uh-huh. I withhold my opinion toward this question. Uh-huh. No comment. Uh-huh. Oh, you... <sighs> I'll give you one more chance. Think carefully and give your answer to Diggertron this time. You little brat. Grow a couple of feet taller before you think about threatening me. <sighs> Here, how about we make a deal? I'll tell you what I know in exchange for a small intel service fee. Fair and honest. Well, looks like I can only continue exercising my right to remain silent. Smart decision. Yeah. I went into town to restart. Nothing out of the ordinary, right? I restock on a regular basis, everyone knows that. I was wondering why there was nobody at the shelter. Fersman is an old customer of mine. He's pretty nice to me, though we are not so close. As to what he did about that Geo Marrow vein, it was kind of unethical. We're all neighbors. We've known each other for a long time. But he sold out to the other side and left his own people out to dry. I really can't agree with that. Look, the cook is definitely the thief, I'm sure about that. I value my reputation more than anything, so you can trust me. No, not really. In my line of work, I've learned to read people. And something's definitely fishy with that cook, I could tell from the start. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone. Who was the cook? That's the helper. This is the cook. Well, well, well. What's this? Playing detective, are we? Ye Spill it! Did you steal my daddy's detector? You little brat. How dare you label me a thief? Someone needs to give you a good lesson on manners. I'm an honest and decent man. I'd never do such a shady thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> Anyone can say that. If you really didn't steal anything, then just answer our questions. 
Oh, you have a temper, huh? All right, I'll spare a couple minutes for your little detective game. I'm a cook. What else would I be doing? Don't you notice the smoky cooking smell all over me? It's just that I happen to be out shopping for ingredients at that time. Otherwise, who'd want anything to do with this kind of thing? Ow. That old Furzman was kind to me. When we were at Rivet Town, he put me in charge of the whole mining team's food supply. And it's because I trusted him that I came to this mine with him. I mean, I didn't expect he would take that money for himself. <laughs> Anyway, he found that Geomero vein by himself, so I won't blame him for not sharing. But you know, what he did was not like the old Furzman I knew. Well, I don't want to be a snitch, but out of my respect for Furzman, I'll tell you a secret. The helper over there, I saw him sneak into Furzman's tent and come out holding a box. See? Isn't he the most suspicious one? <laughs> I don't care if you believe me or not. I've told you all I know. Now leave me alone if you don't have any more questions. I'm busy. Uh, Hook's head is spinning. Do you remember everything they said? No. Don't worry, I've written it all down for you. Remember, among these four people, only the real thief would lie. <sighs> the cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook, and the helper said it wasn't him. So, do you know who the culprit is? No. Why do I always have to find thieves and... Trust your judgment. Come on, let's go accuse the culprit. <laughs> Wait, why? Okay. He's gone. Huh? Where's the cook? Where did he go? Uh, Pete's me. I saw him running out in quite a panic. Where is he running off to? Oh, yeah. I saw Mr. Sampo on the way to the mine when I came here. Could he be involved in this? Follow Hook! Mr. Sampo should be that away! Mr. Sampo's always at the clinic hanging around Miss Natasha. Hook thought he was really sick or something. <laughs> He's working with the thief. And he's also a bad guy! Well, he's certainly something, that's for sure. I don't know how I feel about him. Oh, hi. Nope. Oh, okay. How far are we going? Oh, there you My are. friend, are you serious? This device is quite rare. Are you really willing to sell it to me at such a low price? No, no, why are you making this so complicated? Do you want it or not? Just tell me. You two stop right there. Pitch Dark Hook the Great has arrived. <laughs> oh boy, I knew it was too good to be true. I gotta make this clear. I have nothing to do with this fella. Mm -hmm. You have to trust me. Miss Hook, please, don't point that thing at me. It's scary. <laughs> hey, how can you sell me out like that? We had a deal. You, you stole Daddy's treasure. Diggertron will not spare you. Oh my God. This, this is all that old Fersman's fault. Just because he has this device I'm holding, he can make a fortune. It's not fair! 
Um, well, it seems you guys have some issues to sort out, so maybe I should leave. What kind of a reason are you looking for? With the underworld in such a sad state, how are we supposed to survive if we don't resort to robbing and stealing? Anyway, I got the device now. Come take it, if you have the guts. Diggertron, get ready. <laughs> I have no interest in conflict. I guess most Turn out your pockets. I've asked for it. Yeah, yeah. Keep up. Forget to run. Pretty good. Let's rock. Talk tough for someone who can't fight. Come on, hand the detector over to Hook. Hmm. Huh? No, Daddy's treasure! It's broken! Hey! Now this is Sampo's time to shine. Of course! I wouldn't want to miss out on seeing you and Miss Hook's acts of heroism, would I? Listen here, there's a fellow in Bouldertown they call Balloway the Miner's Lamp. He's an appraiser. Although he claims that he doesn't do appraisals anymore for ancient relics, he actually still does a bit behind the scenes for ones that are of especially high value. I think this device of yours is probably worth a lot. It might be a good idea to try your luck with Balloway. Here's a trick. First, pretend that you want to sell it for a low price, then wait for him to excitedly fix the device for you. After it's fixed, tell him you changed your mind and you want to keep it for yourself. This business tactic is what I call a bait and switch. Pretty clever, huh? Halloween the Miner Slam. Got it. Thanks, Mr. Sampo. Let's go into town to find him. Have a safe trip! Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, oh my god, there's a new side quest. Oh, for the love of god. Okay. Places mean busier business. She just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, wait, where's the quest? Alright, what do you also want while we're at it? Boop, 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 boop. I'm already retired from appraising ancient relics, so unless this detector is some kind of precious treasure... Oh, look at this! The detector's probe broke off. Can you fix it? Hmm. Oh, ho, ho. This certainly is a rare relic. Let me take a closer look. Oh, yes! Look extra close. You have to help Hook fix it. This device... 
I've been in the business for a long time, but never have I seen an ancient relic like this one before. I think this is probably beyond repair. But still, it is a rare treasure. Even broken, I'd be willing to pay a high price for it. What do you say? The detector's probe is gone. It's like searching for something without eyes or ears. Now, it's nothing more than a pile of junk with no practical value. I'm willing to offer a generous price for this thing, so do you want to sell it or not? you been, Hook? I was just about to go looking for you. Come on, let's go home. I'll cook some salt-baked rock crabs for you. <sighs> What's wrong with this kid? Vein detector? The one I lost? Big Brother and Hook helped Daddy catch the thief that stole it. But... Daddy's detector is broken. Oh, it's all my fault. If only I could have found it sooner. So it was stolen. Uh, you're not hurt, are you, Hook? I'm fine. Uh, Daddy, can you see if your detector still works? Mm. The Geo Marrow probe is damaged. I'm afraid this thing won't work anymore. <sighs> I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't help one bit. What are you apologizing for? <laughs> Thank you so much for looking out for me, Hook. But Daddy's treasure. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Don't cry, Hook. Daddy's true treasure has been here all along. It was never lost, or broken. Uh, even you know what it is? The detector helped me find lots of Geomarrow veins, and it saved the mining team a lot of money. In that respect, it was a very good thing. But at the end of the day, the detector is just a tool. It must have irreplaceable importance to someone. Hook doesn't really understand. <laughs> it's okay. I'm saying some things that might seem strange, but you will understand someday. So... The treasure daddy's talking about... ...is still happily running and jumping around. Daddy! <laughs> you... You're not allowed to see her cry! Go away! <laughs> Aww. That's adorable. Who's rattling a bottle of pills? Exactly what it sounds like. Part one. Oh lord.
There's a puzzle. Let me get to it. Thank you. Ooh, extra ticks. Yeah. so bad. Oh my god. Push the minecart, please. Thank you. please. I guess I had to come back tomorrow. Oh my god, I got 7,000 XP. I need, I need to hurry up and finish this so I can level up. Alright. Hey, well, at least we're getting places, right? Oh boy. 
I'm good though. Alright. Oh, hi, child. What are you doing here? Uh, hook? You. This I really wasn't expecting. So, the moles are a part of wildfire. Ah, that's right. It's How fun. Me, pitch Dark, Hook the Great. What do you want? <laughs> Kiddo, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I will be your guide, friends, by order of Chief Oleg. I gotta say I'm a little upset at the thought of you choosing a toddler over your old buddy Sampo. All right, all right, don't get started. But I want to ask you something. Everyone in Wildfire knows the location of Svarog's lair. Why do we need you as a guide? Uh, my specialties in the field, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Wildfire may know where the base is, but have they ever been inside? You've been inside? No, but I felt my way around the outside and picked up more than a few clues. I can help you. You have my word. Hey, what are you trying to say? Name me someone above or below ground that walks the talk like Sempo Koski. Oh my god. My uh legacy will prove that Sempo Koski was nothing but a willing and devoted servant of. Mm -hmm. Not enough. Jeez, we believe you, okay? Show us the way already. Great. Stay close. Oh my god. He certainly is something. I don't... I... Uh, Sampo, are we there yet? Do you have to ask every other minute, Missy? Two more steps, just two more steps, and you're there. He certainly is something. I will say that. This is Farog's lair? I thought it'd be cold and lifeless. Turns out it's pretty busy. Many vagrants are staying here temporarily. Their homes were overrun by monsters. Isn't it dangerous for them to make camp right under Svarog's metal nose? No. Svarog may be ruthless, but he never attacks without reason. For those with no home, this is actually a safe place to be. <laughs> if I hadn't moved away when I did, I'd probably be where they are right now. Hmm. Thank you. Just take that treasure from right under your nose. Hello, little robot. I'm not causing any trouble. Don't worry about me. I'm not causing any trouble. I am the perfect angel. Ooh, nope. Yo, yo, listen up. This one's for all you pretend rappers. Oh, no. Internal combustion engine champion, 88 degrees bedrock. Repping the dawn of the underworld rap. Here's something to wake up your soul. Check it. Light of the moon of a city of snow. Kid down below gazing up all alone. Silence, dismay. How to make sense of this vision of gray. You to protect, her to defend. Queen of oblivion lies with no end. Child born and bred of the underworld dark. Orders that keep him and home far apart. Life, death, and honor, the struggle persists. Finding his parents a solitary wish. Crackling flame, flickering light. And now he escapes in the dead of the night. Sickness and hunger forever pursuing him. Gritting his teeth, leaves a city behind. Scraping of claws, gnashing of teeth. Evil intent, here's the sound of his feet. Don't make a sound of your breath till it's over. Heart pounded, don't let the panic take over. Howl of the wind, silvery light. Hold on to sanity, keep up the fight. Now the blizzard descends. I start to close the voices of family lost to the snow another bell and buck night the hate the lies just can't hide yeah a gaze cold as ice while the world passes by yeah another bell and buck night a find the lies can't abide yeah on his face one last smile a sign the sun always rises yeah yeah 
Alas, this place is a bit of a mixed bag. Plenty of characters? Keep your wits about you, friends. Don't let anyone deceive you. It's all good. We've had you for practice. <sighs> you know, Missy, you sure know how to bear a grudge. No, no, no! You can't insert the microcrystalline unit into the heat sink substrate like that. How do you know? Balloway from Miner's Lamp said that you need to pay attention to the interfaces when assembling relics. To make this thing move again, we need to connect the microcrystalline unit to the operating brake module. Otherwise, it's just a pile of scrap metal. If you believe a word that senile idiot Balloway says, you're done for. The last time he acted on his own advice, he electrocuted himself. Okay. You should be asking people with real smarts. No one is better at fixing machines than Marev. I saw him connecting a microcrystalline conductor unit to a logic control <laughs> hub to get a vibrating drill to work. What? <laughs> Marev? Him and his brother wouldn't know a real relic if it hit him in the face. Last I heard, he got scammed by someone selling counterfeit junk. Ah, you're just salty, my friend. That a secret code or something? It's an imaginary password that children like to use. And I don't think it's going to be of much use. Whoa, whoa. Pry it open? In front of all these vagrants and robots? They have eyes, you know. Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism for this gate. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Farag's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, <laughs> you need certification. Certification. Uh, certification? Certification. Correct. <laughs> Only Fire prospectors with the right certification can get in or out. These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. If only I'd beaten them to it. <laughs> They'd be calling me Sampo Bosky by now. A uh, time out. Where do we get this certification? Oh, that's simple. You see the robots over by the vagrants? They're all Svorog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is processing. Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walking stoplights first. <sighs> Not a clue. <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svarug suicide mission before. You guys are the ones that want in. Why not go and ask the robots? It feels like the people here are all under the supervision of robots. This would be unthinkable on the surface. Robots are merely tools in the overworld. Don't take Svarag as an ordinary robot. He's... uh... special. Mm -hmm. This has to be one of them, right? It looks so... lame. Traffic light. Even like... awake in there? Maybe it's broken down. <laughs> that scared me. Protocol. Initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Launching processing. Huh? Are we starting now? Launching stage one processing. Please listen to the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? Infernal Construction what now? How would we know 
know anything about that. Sampo, do you know the answer? Sampo Gasky always knows the... Wait, uh, what did it say again? I don't even remember. <sighs> Aren't you supposed to be dependable? Well, I don't know everything. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta ask around if you want to know the answer. Don't panic. Let's listen in to what the vagrants are talking about. We might just hit the jackpot. Please answer the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? Correct answer. Uh, whoa! Was that a lucky guess? <gasps> Did you go to a music festival without us? Certification result. Success. Requisite certifications remaining. Two. Please extend your right hand. My right hand? Here you go. Why is this part of the... Oh, hey, hey, ow, ow, ow! So this is the certification mark? Great. Only two more steps to go. Let's move. Cool. I've been microchipped. No, no, no! You can't insert the microcrystalline unit into the heat sink substrate like that. How do you know? Balloway from Miner's Lamp said that you need to pay attention to the interface to make this thing move again. We need to connect the microcrystalline unit to the operating brake module. Otherwise, it's just a pile of scrap metal. If you believe a word that senile idiot Balloway says, you're done. You should be asking people with real sm- I saw him connecting a microcrystalline conductor unit to a logic and- <laughs> Marv? Him and his brother wouldn't know a real rel- Ah, uh, you're just- Did you hear? Those idiots got into a fight in the mine. <laughs> it only got settled after Boss Varog showed up. I've said it before. Only Boss Varog can protect. Well, what do you? Do you ever talk about anything else? I'm so tired of hearing about Svarog. But but it's true. What else is there to say? Hey, take a look at all these good for nothings. I'd starve to death with. All right, let's just uh, get to the question and then protocol initiating scanning. Ugh, I'm so sick of repeating this. <laughs> huh? What did this bucket of bolts just say? <laughs> Seems like this one's got a temper. Ugh, let's get this over with. Did you get your first certification? If not, then you're wasting your time. Yo, what's with the sassy robot? You mean this? Here, look. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Here comes your quick. Riddle me this. A microcrystalline unit should be connected to which component? <gasps> Wrong. Good simple question. Uh, can I smash the Ha! Huh, you wanna if we turn you into Oops. I've no interest in conflict. Okay then. Whatever. <laughs> turn out your pocket! <laughs> Pretty good crowd today. This is fine. Keep up! I just heard it too, Why didn't I? I? This end. <laughs> 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 This song's <laughs> Oh well. Wait, have mercy. I'm sorry. One certification coming right up. I'll just beat the <laughs> Now we're Okay. Please extend your Not you. <laughs> huh? Uh, there you are. Only one more to go. Alright, fine, I'll just fight everybody. Whatever the case, we'll need it to identify. Hmm, there's something. Protocol. Init init initialization failure. 
not incur system restoration failure core module damaged external threat detected threat elimination activated <laughs> finally no more racking our brains this rust bucket's about to meet its maker all right that's fine with me too fighting is meaningless don't throw the game Turn it up. That's it. This ends here. I have no interest in conflict. Don't throw it. Fine by me. <laughs> Learn how to behave now. Let me try and reset its system. Certification system online. Please ex- uh, what? Uh, uh, how come it hurt even more than the other two? Oh, at least that's the final step. We can get in now, right? <laughs> Sparog's certification system is no match for us. This better work. Let's get back to the gate and give it a go. Oh boy. The gong. <clears throat> the gong rings loud. Performers crowd round. <laughs> hey, that sounded pretty good. Not so bad having Sampo on the team after all, huh? Right? Chief Oleg knew all along that I... Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I'll commend you to the Chief. No need to waste your time. All right. Well, let me issue a warning now. Everything from here on out is uncharted territory. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Now to set the record straight with Sparog. Let's get in there. Dude, did anyone hear what I just said? Nope. Let's go. A gate? Oh, why is there another... It looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sampo, what is this? Huh? Sampo? Oh, where is he? Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. Hmm. This isn't the first time. Nope. Oh dear. It's that same type of robot again. Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for Zvarog detected. Protocol initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Oh, good plan. Treat the robots like guard dogs. <laughs> How is that going to improve our chances? No, no. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Request rejected. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Ms. Clara. Clara? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? Family. Huh, weird. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. Hmm. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy core's bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. Timmy, I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. 
She went back? But we were just there. Sounds like we better head over again. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? It wasn't as fun as you think. That little girl heading into the Fragmentum all by herself? Ugh, doesn't bear thinking about. Her strength belies her appearance, but even so... <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. Well, let's find her. Svarag's not going anywhere. No, I guess not. Uh, this is a big town. Where should we start? Claire said she was going to find components, right? Let's start with Nat's storage room. Oh, I gotta make me some lunch. I am hungry, guys. Okay. I've had my bunch. I am ready to continue. Let's see what happens next. Okay. Where are we going? Not that way. Fighting is meaningless. Turn it up. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. For you. Let's rock. Not bad. This ends here. Isn't this the robot that was following Clara around? These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? Shh. It's about to say something. Listen. Initializing self repair module. Initialization failure. Clara in danger. Must protect. In danger? What do you mean? Workshop target must be eliminated. Wait, does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Clara, she... Not good. She's in danger. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. I know the way. We feared there's something big over there and, and there's Clara we have to save her let's go no need to fear we have the numerical advantage is that all move carefully in the name of Landau a will forged in ice never falters <laughs> Be very helpful Let's rock. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Huh. laughs> 
The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Forget your wallet? <laughs> Hope you're prepared. <laughs> serious, huh? You have no interest in conflict. Turn out to get rock! Let's rock! In the name of Landa, a will forged in ice never falters! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! This ends here. <laughs> Forget your wallet? Keep up! Hope you're prepared! Don't throw the game! Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up! Are you okay, Clara? Are you hurt? Th thanks, everyone. I'm fine. Just a few scratches. You shouldn't be running around by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. We were planning on paying him a visit. Uh-huh. What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. No. This time, we need to set things straight with him face to face. Can you take us to meet him? But... Mr. Sparg doesn't like talking to others. Especially Wildfire. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. Um... I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarg doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. So, I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarg and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. Listen, kid, you... <sighs> Clara, you said it yourself before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? I know Mr. Svarag. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Terrible things are happening on this world. Mr. Svarag thinks that the overworld will end soon. What? According to his calculation results, the strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. His plan is to keep the Underworlders away from the source of the disaster, so they can survive for longer. Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous! What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? I'll definitely return the favor, but not like this. Um, if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. Clara! 
It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. You will have to think of another way. That's no ordinary kid. So young and yet so... stubborn? No. Intelligent? She's incisive and determined. In sharp contrast to you, March. Did you really have to add that last part? It looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svarok. If we circumvent Clara and the gate, Svarog will only identify us as intruders. He'll be even more likely to give us the cold shoulder. Mm, isn't a robot shoulder cold to begin with? Clara mentioned Svarog's calculation results many times. The strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. For me, that's our starting point. So, you think Svarog's logic has a hole in it? No. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellaron. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. There's a new variable yet to be added to the equation. Hmm, precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the results of his calculation, and we'll be one step closer to peace talks. But how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? <sighs> There's always a way. But first, we have to convince Clara. I assume she must be on her way back to the robot settlement. Let's catch up with her. She turned that way, quick! Songs for you. Turn it up. This ends here. Pretty good crap. Let's rock. That was a heck of a performance.
I said you got to do it. You got to get a light. No interest in conflict. This song's <laughs> Pretty good crap. Let's rock. <sighs> Past victories don't guarantee future ones. Worth our while. and keep looking. Enemy certainly isn't friendly. I'll come back to you when I'm at the time and you'll level up. But, uh, I'm being bamboozled. I have no interest in conflict. Our while. Whoa, chunky. Too strong. Coming back. That back. enemy certainly isn't friendly. Songs for you. Keep up. This ends here. Fighting is <laughs> This ends here.
worth our while. Poor little child. Hmm. Why won't it? Ah. I can't figure it out. Oh, it's you. You came with me after all. You keep saying that, but... Are you repairing this installation, Clara? Hit a snack? Huh? How did you know? The dimensions and wear of these two roller components look very different from the rest of the unit. You must have only just replaced them. You replaced the damaged components, but the unit isn't starting up as normal. That's what you're trying to figure out, right? Yeah, I fixed a lot of things before, but I never had to repair one as complicated as this. Why isn't Sparlog helping you? I don't want to disturb him. This installation was... accidentally damaged by two of the vagrants. If Mr. Sparrog finds out, they'll get in big trouble. You know, Clara, if you're too kind, people can take advantage of you. Ah. I think I found the source of the problem. You replaced the rollers, but the bearing is causing a jam. And there's a misalignment. You two, give me a hand. We should be able to fix it between us. More fixing? I'm getting good at this! Can we really fix this? Relax, we got this. Right, Don Hung? Less asking, more helping. <laughs> that wasn't. Whoa, it lit up. Thanks, guys. No need. We hardly lifted a finger. So, the settlement's energy supply problem is solved for the time being? Yes. The people on the outskirts don't need to worry about heat or light now. Um... I understand. You helped a lot of injured people in the mine, and you were going into the town for supplies. You're good people. If there's any other way I can help you, I'll do my best. But this... Uh, how are we gonna convince her? The variable is... No outsider set foot in the underground for over a decade. Clara, you're observant, right? Take a look at us. Do we look like underworlders? Well, uh, you do look very different from other people. Right! That's because we're not from here. We've never been a factor in Sparog's calculations. And if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the Underworlders, then the results don't apply to the present situation. When did Svarog start doing his calculations, Clara? It was... a long time ago. The same time the Underworld was sealed off, I think. Circumstances have changed since then. There's a Silvermane Guard down here now. Is that part of Svarog's calculation? Not to mention we're... Just tell her already! We come from a different planet. There's just no way that Svarog's calculations would have included variables like us, you know? Different planet? 
don't treat me like a child. Those are just made up stories that grown ups like to tell. I don't. Hey, he and March aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. Branya, do you really? I know how you feel, Clara. And you want new hope for the underground, but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process, right? I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, Dan, Hung, and he, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Let them make Svarag, and let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him. There's no harm in trying. Right? Hmm. I... <sighs> okay, I'll take you to see Mr. Svarog. Really? Awesome! Hmm... I understand now. Trying to change Mr. Svarog's mind on my own would take forever. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do it. And all the while, people would be getting sick, losing their homes, and fighting. Just like in the mine. I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Svarog, then I need to be brave too. Everyone, follow me. Branya, I didn't know you'd stick up for us like that back there. Well said. It was nothing, I just said what I truly felt. To me. Welcome back, Miss Clara. Timmy, open the gate, please. I want to see Mr. Svarog. Outsiders detected. Do you wish to permit access? It's okay. They're all my guests. Command received. Access restriction terminal unlocked. Welcome back, Miss Clara and guests. Uh, if you can, please try not to upset Mr. Svarog. Yep. That, it's I'll, okay, I'll Clara. We're here to reason with him. Oh, dear. I'll leave negotiations to you guys. They're not my strong point. Negotiating with robots. I can't say I've tried it before. Are you ready? Without my mic, it's fine. I'm sorry if you couldn't hear me. I'm back, Mr. Svarog. I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But why have you brought them? Mr. Svarog, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Background Hi, unknown. Classification unknown. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. Oh, uh, hey, sounds like he's willing to communicate. Quick, time to smooth talk him. I don't know how to smooth talk anybody. Could be. Oh, that's not. You seek peace. Understood. Nevertheless, your statement is unilateral. My position will be determined after assessing the result of our negotiation. Proceed with your central point. 
Do not waste this world's valuable time. Uh, he cut you off completely. This guy. Stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. Stellaron. Searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. You are broaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. I demand that you reveal your true intention. Mm, as expected. He knows of the Stellaron. But it's a restricted topic. We've come this far. Out with it already! Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with the Stellaron. Without exception, these efforts have been motivated by human greed. Attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. As instructed by the Architects, any attempt to engage with the Stellaron will result in grave consequences. Reassessing. Target Threat Index Critical. Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. There is no evidence to suggest you are an exception. Calculation result remains unchanged. Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. E extermination? In the literal sense? Peace talks are over. March. Prepare for combat. Mr. Sparog. Leave, Clara. Clara, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. <sighs> Looks like we have to take action after all. Prototype number three. Monitoring Automaton Svara. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. Annihilation permitted. Well, that went great. Execute oh. annihilation. Yeah. Ouch. In the name of Landau, years of cold hardens the will. We shall never fall! The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant this oh, sanctuary, right, we, uh... is but a vision! Come feast your eyes! This it's never bad. too early! Right. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music conquers all. Calculating result. Ah. Ouchies. How dare you delay my action? Fun. I like that you can do this. <laughs> That's fun. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up. This ends here. Analysis complete. <laughs> How can you put up your best fight without a doctor on the battlefield? Okay, Natasha. All of you, stay focused. I'm right behind you. Nat, uh, how did you... Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sampo's got your back. Sampo! <laughs> I knew you'd be involved somehow. 
Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing. All subjects are high-risk individuals. Commencing complete annihilation. Oh, it's way better. Not all. Kind of Executing. Operation. Are you serious, huh? In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. How feast your eyes. Happy New Year. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. Move carefully. This song's for you. Turn it up. This ends here. Turn out your pocket. Too late to repent. Reinforcer. Hey, that's not fair. Up, 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 up. Pretty good crowd today. <gasps> oh, how dare you? How dare you? How, how, oh, God, what do I do? Keep up. Forget your wallet? I've no interest in conflict. The truth of life and death, revealed in an in the sanctuary, is but a vision. Break! Give me. Oh, Calculating result. Give him back. This song's for you. Turn it up. Turn out your pockets. Family. Well, battle's over anyways. Please, please, please don't hurt Mr. Sparrow. Okay, child. Clara, you. Mr. Sparrow can't fight anymore. Please. Please don't hurt him. Claire. Ra. Mr. Sparrow, don't push yourself any further. Can you tell them what you know? Mr. Sparrow, you said you were willing to make all my wishes come true, right? My biggest wish right now is for everyone to work together. Like, like family. Recently, I learned something new. Calculation results can't always bring people happiness. Even if the world outside the cage isn't beautiful, people still want to know what it's like. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Variable 1. Clara's request. Variable 2. Outsider's intentions. Updated assessment result. Transference of decision-making authority to outsiders. Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. So... So we did it? Clara seems like the only one who can break through Svarog's cold logic. It's a good thing she was here. I hope his memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. Is this it, Nat? Us? Wildfire? The Underworld? Did... Did we win? No, Zila. Our battle. Their battle. It's just beginning. Finally, we finally made it to this point. <clears throat> uh, what's up? Nervous? No, but I do have an aching feeling in my chest. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. 
I'm listening. I have finished collating the Stellaron data and records. Do you wish to proceed, outsiders? Requesting database materials cache, serial number 13175, encryption level highest. Request approved. Transmission. This is the fruit of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is irrefutable. This so-called Stellaron is the source of all the destruction. The people will struggle to accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the almighty Elisa Rand activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze... It's the truth, madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabonk's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. I shouldn't be telling you this. Let's return to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Unless? Unless what? Please, proceed, madam. Unless you have found a way to completely destroy the Stellaron. I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Cache number 13175. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 24830. I don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. You're, you're still young, child. There will come a day... A day when you do understand. This Supreme Guardian, she... She sees further than you or I. All the decisions are, are for the security of Bellabog. I just think it's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. <laughs> don't, don't be upset, child. You, you still have lots of time ahead of you. When you find a way to destroy, <coughs> destroy the Stellaron, our efforts will have been worth it. Cache number 24830. <coughs> transmission complete. Hmm. Next transmission. Cache number 57614. This is... Why is there a robot here? During his life, this was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Oh, I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. Madam Guardian, I've found them. All the documents are here. Hmm. Good. That'll do. Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? Uh, it would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the Underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Yes, madam. I'm sorry, doctor. But these results must be taken care of by the architects. One day, somebody will be able to carry out your behest. 
Cache number 57614. Transmission complete. Concluding data transmission. So, the truth is clear now, right? <gasps> and it would appear that they never succeeded. Now only one question remains. Why would Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Branya, are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I just... I feel a little faint. Why? Why, Mother? Maybe, maybe she wasn't aware. Maybe she... I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. <sighs> hey, can I have a word with you? I know that we'll need time to process this new information, but we have to decide on our next plan as soon as possible. Hmm. How are you? The furnace core. The path to the surface is close at hand now. <laughs> Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the underworld. Now we have to wait and see. But maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. Well, you should really be thanking Sampo. If it weren't for his intel, we wouldn't have made it in time. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Huh? Huh? So you're the real chief? W what about Oleg? Oleg has always acted on my behalf. He helps me deal with all manner of problems in the underworld. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svarog. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. <laughs> and for that, you have my utmost thanks. A person is defined by their actions alone. I think that's how the saying goes. <laughs> if the underworld recovers its freedom, the people will see you as heroes. However, even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the furnace core, there's no way that we undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the underground. If she detects any change in the underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. <laughs> of course, there's no doubt about that. So I'll be sending someone I trust to go with you. Zila. Didn't she tell you? In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning and can read a situation like no one else. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you. Not to mention, you also have Branya now. You're right. But with Zila by her side, I know she'll recover. Hey, when's the last time you got some rest? I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Sparog since Rivet Town. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Core for now. You head back and recuperate. If you're lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the Overworld. Cool, I did that. 
Yay. What does that do? Material for... Oh... Oh, okay. Sorry. Alright. So now we gotta do that. God, I can't wait to do relics, because, you know, that's gonna be so much fun. Equilibrium. Say what? The universe should be in equilibrium. Equilibrium. Yes. Equilibrium. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. The arbiters of the equilibrium are giving you a trial. Oh, I can do that the now? The equilibrium of all worlds. You must demonstrate your strength. The strong will be given greater opportunities. The weak, a chance to breathe. Passing the trial will prove that your strength has shaken the scales of power. Worlds will change, and thus, equilibrium. You will encounter stronger enemies, harder puzzles, oh, Lord. and greater rewards. Oh, how fun. After equilibrium, you will go on to face yet more trials. That's just pretty much no one had a Oh is my god. This Can I just do it? Worlds change. <laughs> Heck yeah, let's do it. Um wait, what? Heck yeah, let's go do it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Jesus Christ on a face. <laughs> oh my god. 29? We're fine, we're fine, we'll do it. We, we can do it. I cannot use that function here. Um. Get out of here. Move carefully. yourself you can fight it or rock with it <laughs> Ow. <laughs> time for the let's rock this ends here Interesting conflict.
Hiya. Move carefully. In the name of Landau. A will forged in ice never falters. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. <laughs> You're prepared. Fighting is meaningless. This song's for <laughs> I have no interest in con. Ouch. Turn it up. This ends here. Fighting is meaningless. Forget your wallet? Pretty good crowd today. Let's rock! In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters! The truth of life and death, the sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Come feast your eyes! Happy New Year! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! I've no interest in con- This ends here. I did it. Equilibrium. Oh no, say equilibrium. The worlds are already changing. For equilibrium reigns supreme. Rest assured, the trial of the Equilibrium will find you. Heck yeah, we did it. Oh, cool. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, God, we're at level 20. <laughs> yeah! Heck yeah, we did it, folks! Oh, hey, Calix Tree. Okay. So, what's this one do? Trace materials. Crimson, huh? So what does it do? Oh, okay, I see. Oh my god, so much has happened. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. That's an event. I don't know what that means. Pretty sure I'm not anywhere near where I should be for that. Ten days. How fun. What do I have to do for that? Oh, well, we can't do half this stuff. That's fun. Memory Stage 3. What's that? Oh, I 
back to that one. Everything's in the control. What's going on? Why are you skewed, little buddy? Ask the conductor about what happened. Rings here, little buddy. Oh, good. You're here. Mm -hmm. Pom-Pom doesn't know, but it's in the express! Okay. No one knows Akivili's express better than Pom-Pom. There is something strange in here. Pom-Pom can feel it. Help Pom-Pom look for it. We have to find it. We have to find it. Okay, but can I get my rewards? Oh, hey, you're here. This place could do with some iris scanners. Wouldn't one unregistered what is visitor that? sneaking aboard? I remember Lady Asta commissioned some security equipment a while back. Maybe she still has some spares. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's right. Since the Legion's invasion, Lady Asta's been procuring defense products customized to the station's needs. I think she's already got platinum membership cards with some of the suppliers. When the unthinkable happens, it usually comes down to the combat effectiveness of the defenders to gain the upper hand. But it's always helpful to have the right equipment by your side. In addition to visitor recognition systems, I've made a few notes on third-party signal monitoring and emergency response devices. Of course, it'd be great if you never had to use any of it, but I hope my analysis is of help to the conductor. I... Uh, th those guys aren't serious when they refer to me like that, you know? Anyway, please don't start <laughs> using it yourself, too. Okay. Anyway, uh, thanks for inviting me to see the train. I've seen the express when it was docked at the platform, but this is my first time on board. Aww. I'm not as knowledgeable as Lady Asta. The only way I can contribute is to help the station improve its defenses, don't you think? Huh? Huh? Uh, you're right. I need to learn to unwind. I've been so focused on the station's defenses recently. It's easy to forget that work-life balance is the best way to stay on top. Thanks for your advice. It's nice to have a break every now and then. Oh, That's cute. Hold on, I want to add some music to my thing. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody. We got music. Look at the spooky thing. Hold on, I got messages. Those we got. Take ultimate to the face, okay. Okay. Pause. Is there a way to fast forward this? Oh my god, we're gonna be here for like an hour.
Are you, are you guys done? I don't even know what's going on anymore. I just this is way too long. Oh my god, make it stop. So strange. It seems like Asta and Arlen are in trouble. sounds like hearsay to me. Better keep them in the dark for now. Himako seems to be on good terms with the folks in the space station. Maybe I should tell her first. Well, first we gotta look at this mirror. coming what are you talking about what mirror i don't see a mirror oh well that's great touch it find out see what it does wow so this is the astral express oh hello ma'am huh. i'm a messenger from the garden of recollection I will be staying on the express from now on. It's very nice to meet you. Hi, I guess. Thank you. You're a friendly one. However, I should still explain. Garden of Recollection is an organization that worships the Aeon Fuli. As a messenger for the Remembrance, we surrendered our worldly bodies and traversed the universe in the form of memes to search the stars on behalf of Fuli for the most precious memories. Seeing that I'm able to be here, you must have already come to understand the concept of remembrance and the Garden of Recollection. The memories that you possess have activated a pathway for the Garden of Recollection to make copies and implant me into your thoughts. Okay. We can actually just follow you without being noticed. However, the Garden of Recollection believes that you're special. The memories that you possess are extremely rare and precious, and it's very likely there will be even more in the future. That's why I thought it'd be best if I introduced myself to you. I noticed that you've also received the concept of Memo Snatchers. The Garden of Recollection wouldn't want you to mistake us for thieves or crooks. Everything we do is for a higher purpose. I believe we've become acquainted now. We want to prevent the universe from being forgotten because of the destruction. Even if all matter is annihilated, it can continue to live on in the form of memories. There is actually something that I need, so I'll get right to it. The Garden of Recollection wants to preserve your memories. But don't worry, we won't take it from you. We just want to make a copy of the precious moments. You can see it as a trade between us. Okay. This is the Forgotten Hall, created specially to store your memories. We hope that you can visit this place regularly to rekindle your lost memories. The Garden of Recollection will extract the memories they want and give you something in return in the form of matter and light cones. Come, 
I swear on the memories of my past self that you won't be at a loss for anything. Sure thing. Let's do it. Do you want to enter the forgotten? Yes. Let me get. Ooh, what is this? It's definitely locked. Okay, what is this place? Um, I guess my usual babies. That's level 32. Oh, dear God. We might die here. Don't throw the game! Turn it up! This Ow. ends here! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! Too late to repent. Turn out your pockets! <laughs> oh, okay. That's great. That's actually great. The truth of life and death. Revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! This song's for you. Keep up! Is that all? Will forged in ice never falters. Ow. Hope you're prepared. Oh, we're not going to do too great. I have no interest in conflict. This ends here. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! It actually hurts. Forget your wallet? Keep up! Hope you're prepared! Name of land, a will forged in ice, never falters. I trained the truth of life and death. Reveal the sanctuary is but a vision. Break. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. This ends here. No interest in conflict. <laughs> Time for the main. Let's rock. <sighs> oh, okay, 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 okay. What is it? Are you not feeling well? That's good. I was afraid you'd be angry. This is like the spiral of this, right? From now on, all it you have to do like is enter the Forgotten like the Hall spiral, periodically, and we'll give you an abundant amount of rewards. Um, about me being on the Astral Express. It'd be best if you kept it between the two of us. I won't reveal myself to your companions, so make sure you don't tell them about me. Nope. Okay? Fine, I guess.
Here, what can go wrong? Perfect. Thank you. I'm glad you're so pleasant to work with. Hmm. Alrighty then. Just step close to the mirror if you ever want to find me. Did you find anything? Someone from the Garden of Recollection is oh. here? On the express? I didn't even realize. Mm, seems like the rumors are true. The emanators of the Remembrance don't have a physical body, and only those they allow can see them. The express is not a place they can just come and go as they wish. We have to kick them out. Yes, I agree. Dealing with the Garden of okay. Recollection is dangerous. And the trade of memories is a shady business. We'll come up with something. Don't worry, Conductor. All right. Thanks. My bad. I, sometimes I click before I even realize what's going on. All right. Well, I'm going to do some stuff and uh, hope for the best, I guess. Until next time. Our lovely little adventure.